Um, you know, I come in on, on Sunday and, and really kind of how I approach the day after the game. You know, now our days are all kind of, <laughs> you know, whacked a little bit right now. But the day after the game, we treat as, as Sunday. Um, you know, I come in and, and I watch uh, the offense side of the ball, and I just sit there and I just, I just take notes, you know, on, on things that I like, things that I don't like. And then I watch the defensive side of the ball, same thing, take notes, things that I like, things that I don't like. And then I watch all the special units. And um, assistant coaches at that time, we come in about noon on, on the day after the game on Sundays. The assistant coaches at that time, they're watching their own individual positions and breaking down the tape and, and giving them grades and, and things like that. And uh, we get together and then they get together as staffs and they watch it together which I think is super important because you start talking, you know, amongst each other and getting everybody on the same page on things we can continue to do, things we can't do. Uh, so that kind of comes out of that, that meeting. And then they'll have a little bit of time that they can kind of unwind, relax, kind of move forward on the next opponent. And then we get together at four o'clock and as a staff and we go over all the grades. So I kind of have my sheet, grade sheet out those guys go, we, we grade by winning, average or losing. I mean, that's it, um, you know, and we kind of, each guy I go around the room and then we kind of talk about, I talk about my notes um, and then we kind of break up and I meet with the offensive staff and we sit there and we talk about my notes again on what I like, what I don't like. You know, we go back and forth with things we can improve on, things we did well. And then I go over to the defensive side and do kind of the same the same thing on things we need to get better at, things we like, things we don't like. Um, and then we kind of move forward. You know, we go and we have a team meeting. We bury that game that day. You know, we watch the special units as a whole team together. And then we break up uh, offense, defense. And, and Coach George and Coach Rocks goes over the points that we got to get better at, things that we did well. And then we break off individually and we watch, you know, the film uh, by position and then we bury that game at that point in time and then um, really after that the coaches come back and they start working on the next next opponent and we have a bunch of kids come in here and start watching video on the next opponent so that's really kind of how our Sunday you know is, is pretty much held up you know consistent on a consistent basis R really what you're what you're um, and again when when you have such a, a young and experienced team and and you know, when you talk about young and inexperienced, you talk about age and then you talk about years playing, you know, and, and I think both of that is factor factor just because a kid is a junior, he it may be the first time he's been out there on, on the field. So there's a lot of factors that kind of go in, into that. And really the big thing that you're seeing and you, that you want to see when you're watching tape is that the kid's getting better, you know, and that's it. And even if the wins aren't coming through, but you see the kids getting better or they're not getting better. And we always sit there and we talk about, you know, as coaches, that's our job. That's why they call you coach. We have to make them better. And if the kid feels that he's getting better, he'll continue to work. And if he doesn't, then that's when frustration and all the rest of it, you know, comes in. So even though they may not grade out, even though they may not, again, continue to get the wins, the wins will come if they will continue to get better when you're talking about, you know, youth. And, you know, I sat there and I had um, my director of football ops look on because there was a deal that came out yesterday that there was another team that's the second youngest team, you know, in the country um, with Tennessee being, you know, the first. And really we are. We're the second youngest team other than Tennessee that guys who are in the two deep that are actually playing – we're the second youngest team out of 120 teams, you know, and, you know, it, it just takes time. And now we're sitting there working on fundamentals, technique, mindset, you know, everything, um, that preparation that you're trying to change the whole dynamics of, of a program when you're talking about young guys. Um, so those are the things that you sit in and you sit there and you watch film. You're making sure that they got the right mental mindset. They're, they're continue to get better, continue to pe pre prepare. And, you know, again, like I said, uh, it, it's a testament to these guys right now because at one and eight, 
you got great work ethic, you got great preparation, and I think the kids, for the most part, feel that they're getting better. And, you know, it's different when you're it's 66 to nothing. It's, you know, and when you're losing by three points, losing by seven points, losing by ten, I think they see that we're close. We just got to do a lot of things, a, a lot of little things better to get over the hump.